Tom comes from the Greek root meaning, cut. Thus, the Latin word anatomia, from which we get anatomy, means dissection, that is cutting or separating the parts of an organism for detailed examination. In a lobotomy, the nerves linking a brain lobe to the rest of the brain are removed, even though lobotomies have hardly been performed in the last 50 years, the idea can still fill us with horror. Appendectomy Surgical Removal of the Human Appendix Appendectomy is an emergency procedure, since appendicitis can be fatal if its symptoms are ignored. The appendix is a tiny tube attached to the large intestine that no longer has any real function. Appendicitis, inflammation and swelling of the appendix, usually as a result of bacterial infection, generally occurs between the ages of 10 and 19, and is the most common reason for emergency surgery in the U.S. today. Since the appendix has so little to do, appendectomies normally have no negative aftereffects at all. If appendicitis is ignored, bacteria may enter the blood and infect other parts of the body. Gastrectomy, surgical removal of all or part of the stomach. Gastrectomy is used to treat holes in the stomach wall, non-cancerous tumors, and cancer, but is performed only when other treatments have been rejected. Gaster comes from the Greek word for belly and shows up in English in such words as gastric, relating to the stomach, and gastronomy, the cooking and eating of fine food. Believe it or not, there are many people today who have had a gastrectomy and live without a stomach, some of them need to eat fairly steadily and carefully through the day, but many lead almost completely normal and even vigorous lives. Tonsillectomy, Surgical Removal of the Tonsils His daughter's usual doctor thought antibiotics could cure her swollen tonsils, but a specialist recommended tonsillectomy. The tonsils are the areas of tissue that you can see in the mirror on both sides of your throat not to be confused with the uvula, which hangs down in the middle. Tonsillectomy, the most common surgery performed on children in the U.S., is intended to relieve tonsillitis, or inflammation of the tonsils, usually by strep or staph bacteria. But the fact is, tonsillitis can often be successfully treated with antibiotics, which means that surgery, including the week or two of pain and discomfort that follows it, is generally unnecessary. Mastectomy Surgical Removal of All or Part of the Breast She has always dreaded being disfigured by mastectomy, but her talks with the surgeon have calmed her considerably. Breast cancer is the most common cancer among American women. Early cases can often be treated with drugs or with a small operation, called a lumpectomy, because it removes a lump. Though if simple mastectomy is larger than a lumpectomy, it allows the breast to be reconstructed, using artificial implants or tissue from elsewhere on the body. But radical mastectomy, which is required when the cancer is at an advanced stage, takes much of the chest muscle and makes reconstruction impossible. IATR, from the Greek iatros, healer, physician, usually hides in the middle of words, where it isn't immediately noticed. A pediatrician treats children, CPED. A psychiatrist is a physician who treats mental problems. A psychologist, by contrast, doesn't have a medical degree and thus can't prescribe drugs. And a physiatrist is a doctor who practices physical medicine and rehabilitation, which may involve such things as testing various physical abilities, relieving pain through electric heat or massage, or training patients to exercise or to use an artificial limb. Iatrogenic caused accidentally by medical treatment. Most medical malpractice suits seek compensation for iatrogenic injury. In the 21st century, patients with throat infections are no longer being bled to death by misguided doctors, like the unfortunate George Washington. But iatrogenic injury and death still remain serious risks. Because of a doctor's bad handwriting, a patient may be given the wrong powerful drug. The sheer number of drugs on the market has led to dangerous drug interactions which often occur when one doctor doesn't know what another is doing. Too many patients go to the hospital for some common treatment and pick up an antibiotic-resistant staph infection. And let's not even think about those unlucky patients who wake up to find that the surgeon has removed the wrong foot. Bariatric relating to or specializing in the treatment of obesity. In the type of bariatric surgery, called gastric bypass, part of the stomach is actually stapled off. 
baros means weight in Greek, so, for example, a barometer is an instrument that measures air pressure or weight. Bariatric describes the medical treatment of serious overweight, that is, obesity. Bariatric surgery is only employed when other methods of weight loss have been tried and failed. Though stapling the stomach may seem extreme, we now know that obesity greatly increases the risk of heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and stroke, so stomach surgery doesn't just help people look and feel better, it's a potential lifesaver. Geriatric of or relating to old people. We guessed we were now in the hospital's geriatric wing, since all the patients seem to be elderly. Since most medical care is devoted to those over 65, geriatrics, the medical treatment of the elderly, is a highly important specialty. The specific problems of the elderly include physical inactivity and instability, which result from weakness and loss of energy. Weakness of the eyes and ears plays a role, and weakening of the immune system often leads to more disease. All these conditions can be made worse by mental problems such as declining intellectual activity, declining memory, and depression, which may prevent the patient from taking action to improve his or her condition. But the effects of aging can be greatly relieved by proper care. And the greatest improvement often results when the patient is persuaded to become more physically, mentally, and socially active. Podiatrist a doctor who treats injuries and diseases of the foot. Like most podiatrists, she spends a lot of time dealing with minor complaints like bunions, ankle sprains, arch pain, and hammer toes. Most foot problems result from the fact that human feet were never designed to walk on asphalt and concrete or even to wear shoes, all that cushioning we demand in our shoes may be doing us more harm than good. So today, we have an entire medical specialty devoted to feet. In the U.S., a podiatrist is a doctor of podiatric medicine, DPM, who is licensed to perform surgery. The root pod comes from the Greek word for foot, compare PED. But in England a foot doctor is often called a chiropodist, a term that dates from the time when the same specialist treated hands as well, since chiro means hand.